right i'm going to use that cintura pearl and i'm going to use the stars because i really love the stars so let's do should we do should we do lemon and blue yeah lemon and blue is going to look really nice isn't it lemon and blue and then we'll do the base of our box in that lovely minty green and we've got all nice kind of matching pastel shades as it was right so all i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to cut my box square to start with so as this is a4 that means it is a uh, what eight and a quarter so i'm going to just i'm just going to mark my a4 let's have a look I'm going to pop it on here and to cut that square let's cut, cut it to eight inches right so eight inches and then i'm going to do the same here i'm going to take it to uh, to eight on the side so i've just used my scoring board for the markings because i've got the little guillotine out here if you had the big guillotine you could just put the extender arm out and then it would have eight inches on it so here we go eight inches there and then eight inches on here now my die is six inches but it doesn't mean that your box has to be that big um your box is going to look fine even if you do it and you just have little little squares little um stars on the side so let's have a little look if we're going to do the lid i'm going to oh, should i cut the green at the same time never mind right so i'm going to do um two inches on the box right so i'm going to cut all four sides i'm going to score all four sides to two inches oh what's thinking on the fly this one joe Oh, I'm mesmerised when you do, when you I'm, make... I'm pleased, I hope I when, don't go wrong. When Sarah Scissorhands <laughs> comes to play with the scoreboard, I'm just, I, I can't stop watching. Right. So and everyone else is, because the comments have stopped since you started stop. this demonstration. <laughs> no one is, is commenting. Oh dear. Right, okay, so let me just show you the stars. Can you see, we've got the outside edge and we've got the detail, just like we did before with the hearts. So remember when we had the heart, if I bring it in, the detail we cut in the top, the shadow we cut in the underneath. So use the same principle. The detail is going into the top. So I'm going to put that top on there like that, right? And I'm going to put the yellow over the top of it. Now, I do like to have, even if it's just a tiny little bit of tape, holding it in place. I don't want it moving in the machine, right? And then we put the yellow over the top, face down, by the way. If it's not a double-sided card, make sure you pop it face down. So I've got my yellow in there as well. Uh, I was going to put, yeah, I've got, I've got the double-sided plate, the, the large Gemini plates. So we can go uh, into the, into, sandwich it between the two cutting plates, the two double-sided plates. Then these two plates, sandwich in between your two regular Gemini plates. And I've realised I've got the large ones out and these actually would have worked fine with the small ones too. Uh, I was just thinking I needed the really bigger size for the design. Now, I won't do all four sides of the book. Well, I'm, I might. I'll see, I'll see how long it takes. Sarah of little patience here with her uh, can't be bothered to wait 16 seconds for it to cut. I think I will because it's going to look really nice, isn't it? Right? Oh, one through you go. Might have to switch to the small plates then because you know I've got no patience. So here we go. There is, there's my yellow, which is going to go in the shadow behind. And then here is my blue. So once I lift you off, oh, I do love that star die. It does look good, mine, doesn't it? Right, so I'm going to take one. I'm going to put it, uh, oh, God, look, I've got all these lovely little stars. I'm going to tap them out on the floor and then I'll pick them up from the floor. Uh, there we go. Right, next side, I'm, I'll get shot off Leanne for doing that. Because <laughs> uh, both sides have a cutting edge on, so I shouldn't really be cutting it. But never mind. Right, I'm going to line up the next one again. So I'm putting them on here. Oh, I'll put it on the other side this time. And I'm just going to get these these two here. Uh, more stars on the so floor. They're going the to make blue, The blue shit, layer, is that going to be... What part of the box is that, Sarah? The, the lid. blue layer. The lid of the, the box. The blue okay, layer okay. is going to be the lid... The yellow is going to give me some detailing underneath. I'm going right to the edge. I made my box at uh, two inches for those of you who want to do exactly this box, just because that's what size my cardstock was. So I cut the cardstock to um, eight inches square. Oh, I haven't put my yellow on. Stop. Reverse. This is... This is what happens when I talk and try and craft, right? We haven't got any yellow... Right, so... I'm going to pop in now, because I caught it before we stuck it in, didn't I? Uh, oh, look, just a little bit of a cut at the edge, yes. Perfect. Right, so, uh, right, I'm going to pop the blue on. 
right? I'm going to put my yellow on, Joe. How many of you were screaming at the uh, <laughs> screen right there and you forgot your other one? But this is what, if you wanted to use them just as regular, um, you know, not as double-sided dies, that's how you do it. If you just wanted to cut one layer, you could just do it like that. Right, I'm just going to do some sticking here, Joe, just so Okey you know, doke. so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to use, when I'm doing the sticking, I'm going to use my dotty tape. I'm saying I'm going to use my dotty tape pen. Am I going to use my dot? I am going to use my dotty tape pen. So we'll end up with, let's have a look. Shall we protect the work surface a little? Here we go. Protect the work surface a little. I'm just going to be, all I'm going to be doing is doing a bit of sticking. All right. Uh, all I'm doing, just so you know, I've just been sticking that other side behind, and then all I'm doing is re-scoring over the edges, right? So just giving this another nice little score because I've got some, um, oh, come on, Sarah. See, I, I, I can't be, I can't be crafting and chatting, Joel. I'm, <laughs> right, 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 right. I'm trying really hard to do it, <laughs> and I'm struggling. So, uh, right, I'm scoring. Because I've got, I've got all this tape underneath. Can you see, I'm trying to score through the double layer. What I think I'm going to do is just try and come in with my craft knife and just take that off just before then. I'm just going lightly, she says optimistically. I'm just trying to go lightly through the one layer of card so that I can, uh, I can fold that over a little bit easier. Can you see? So there's my score line. And if I just go lightly through there, I should have just cut the card to the right sort of, right sort of depth to stick it on. Hopefully you're all following what I'm doing, because I'm, I'm not giving you much of an explanation here, am I not? Where's my score line here? Oh, I'm, I'm following. following. And if I'm following, I think that means everyone else will be. Oh, I oh, think that I'm the, I'm the are you following barometer, I think. So if I'm getting it, everyone else must. <laughs> right, so I'm just bringing these in, and it's just to let that box lid fold over a little bit easier. So I'm just taking away one layer of the cardstock each time. Uh, and then where's my last one here? It would be easy, it's because the box has got so many uh, lines on. Have you seen what I've done though? I've gone to the, um, I've gone to the, stop, stop falling in there. Right, I've gone to the, um, the line that I've done the black on. Ah, uh, okay. Just to make, just to make it that little bit easier. And then I'm just cutting to the left of it so I can cut off the excess cards. Do you know what well, that would look lovely as? I love the way it is before it's folded, Sarah. For something like a frame to put a photo onto or something like that. Yes. Wouldn't it look gorgeous as it is, using it as a, you know, like an all the way round frame? All the way round frame. I and mean, that would be really nice. Now, let's have a look. Moment of truth, okay? So, just as you would do a normal box, okay? We're going to cut up and then we're going to cut a little snip out of the edge, right? So up here, I'm terrible for saying right. It's because I'm it's because I'm trying to have a conversation with you all, even though you're not in the same room as me. So I'm expecting you to be stood answering the TV and going, yep, Sarah, right, we've got yep, we've got yep. Uh, there we go. Yep, we've got ya. Thank yeah, you. Got it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna fold this over here. So I do need that score line through both layers. There we go. So there's my edge that I'm gonna use to stick it down. Oh, this is coming together nicely, Joe. It's coming how? together really I mean, nicely. I just, how much would you pay if you had to go out and buy something like this on the high street? And then the chances are, would you be able to get it in the size that you wanted it in? I mean, you'd struggle to find it. You'd struggle to get it in the right size. Absolutely not a chance. Absolutely <laughs> not no on your at Nelly, all. as some might say. Uh, right. Whereas when you make it yourself, so easy to do. Now, I'm going to give these a nice fold and a nice burnish. Now, what you could do, if you remember last time I did edgeables, I taught you a really nice technique where you could actually use some acetate to stick this behind. I'm actually toying with the idea of cutting my edges out and, and going back to that again because I think it will give us a really much neater finish. Uh, we should be all right. Much neater fit. Yeah, we're going to be all right. We'll, we'll, we'll be okay. You just need enough to be able to stick onto and make sure you put loads and loads of that tape. Look how much tape I've just put on there, okay? And then I'm just gonna fold that behind and you just need enough to stick this into this part here. Yep, yeah, so just, just enough to hold it in there. So if I show you that again, uh, actually what the best thing to do is probably stick, put tape on all four of your corners while they're flat. Much easier to put the tape on while it's all flat. It, what else would you, if you were doing this at home, would it be tape runners that you'd use, sir, or would it be something else? Uh, no, definitely just you. The tape runners are absolutely fine, okay. as long as you have plenty of tape on there. So let's have a look. You would never know. Have a look at that, like, close-up. 
There you go. You'd never know that we've stuck two layers over top of each no. other, would you not? They just look like some really nice stars. So there is my fourth lid. And there you go. Not planned. Done from live. There's no, here's one I prepared earlier. No safety blanket. You want the base of the box now as well, don't you? Uh, let's, let's quickly whip you up a base, seeing as we're going to have an absolutely perfect box. <laughs> so I said this was eight inches, didn't I? So you just take, you're just marking off the eight on both sides. And then you take it, trim it down to eight, and we're going to put the base of the box in. They just What I've done is, oh, do you know what? I thought I'd make my base inside out. And then I really don't need to, because you're going to see the... I was thinking, oh, we want to see the green. I've made it right, never mind. I've stuck my glue on the other side, so I'm just going to stick my base in inside out. Don't look too close, guys. Uh, it's <laughs> You'll get the idea, right? He, I, I wondered, I was thinking, oh, I'll do that and I'll do green on the inside. Well, there's no point doing green on the inside because you won't see it. So you're going to have a nice, perfect box on the inside with no edges showing. I've had to stick my edges around the outside just for the purposes of the demonstration. I will absolutely uh, finish that and make another nice base because, look, it only took me like two minutes. How good's that? How cute is that box with those double-sided edgeables? That is like next level edgeable making, but we just did that. Like Now I know it took me about 15 minutes, but that is literally from the beginning. Usually with the demos, I like to have a little bit prepped in advance to show you, but I just think it's even to do it right from the beginning, you've been able to see it all from there, it just looks spectacular. Yeah.